What's up guys? So I have been doing a lot of emulating on my Mac mini with the M2 chip and I love it. It performs great and it's small so I can use it in my entertainment center on my TV instead of being locked down at my desk. So in this video, I want to share what I consider to be the six emulators that every Mac user should have installed on their computer if they're into emulation. And if you need help setting up any of these emulators shown in this video, if I have a guide for it, you will find the links in the description below. So I'm going to kick this list off with OpenEMU, a multi-system emulator that uses cores for its systems. Now, this spot was either going to RetroArch or OpenEMU, and OpenEMU took the win simply because of how easy it is to use and set up. Now, RetroArch is great and offers more systems as well as more cores, but you just can't beat how simple OpenEMU is to set up, and even for a newbie to emulation. It looks nice and neat and well organized with all of your systems displayed. It has a drag and drop system for super easy setup of your ROMs and BIOS files and even gives you cover art without having to do anything. OpenMU is just so clean that it looks like it was made to be an exclusive for Mac users only. And it's just perfect to emulate older systems with the newest ones you can emulate being the PSP in the handheld section and N64 for the consoles. Although it can also play GameCube games, I don't recommend using it because the Dolphin Core is not stable and most games won't load. But for everything else, you will have a great experience. OpenMU works on both Apple Silicon and Intel Macs. Next is my favorite emulator to use, that being the PlayStation 2 emulator, PCSX2. The PlayStation 2 had one of the greatest collections of games of all time, and we can now enjoy them on the Mac with 97% of the games being playable on PCSX2. What I love is upscaling my PS2 games to 1080p and 4K, and I can do so on my Mac Mini and still have my games play at full speed and look great. You can also use a PS5 controller with this emulator if you have one, which makes your experience using this emulator even better. Something else cool is that you can share virtual memory cards and data, create multiple save states so that you can jump right back into your game where you left off. PCSX2 works on both Apple Silicon and Intel Macs. Now we have the GameCube and Wii emulator Dolphin, another great system that has some really great games on it. And just like PCSX2, Dolphin is compatible with around 97% of games released for the two consoles. Dolphin also supports WiiWare games that are downloadable on the shop channel. Again, I had no issues raising the resolution to 1080p or 4K, as well as saving my games with the save states. Now, if you want a real Wii experience, then you can pick up this device on Amazon called the Dolphin Bar that acts as a Wii sensor bar, allowing you to pair and use real Wii remotes with Dolphin. Now, it doesn't get much better. Dolphin works on both Apple Silicon and Intel Macs. Next is the PlayStation 3 emulator, RPCS3. Okay, so this is a great emulator and it's only getting better with time. But at the time of this video, the emulator is only compatible with 70% of PS3 games. But as I said, this emulator is getting better with every new update and it is still in heavy development. Now, this emulator has all of the same features as any other emulator, but my favorite feature, you guessed it, is upscaling. But I only go up to 1080p because some games will stutter badly on my M2 Mac. Also, this emulator is compatible with a PS5 controller, which I always prefer to use a PlayStation controller when using PlayStation emulators. Anyways, I'm just happy to see that we got the emulator on Mac back in 2022 and it works on both Apple Silicon and Intel Macs. Moving on, we have an emulator for a system that I really enjoyed but it was the last from Sega, the Dreamcast emulator, Flycast. I wish the Redream emulator was available for Mac, but it's not. Luckily, we have the next best thing. And this emulator not only plays Dreamcast games, but it supports Adam's Wave, Naomi, and Naomi 2 arcade games. 
Now you will likely run into issues using Flycast depending on the game you're playing, but all of the big titles that were released on Dreamcast will run fine. And you still get upscaling and widescreen support, making your games look even better. Flycast runs on Intel and Apple Silicon Macs. And the last emulator I recommend you to have on your Mac is XMU, the original Xbox emulator. Around 85% of the Xbox games are playable with this emulator. You have all of the same options as every other emulator I have mentioned, such as upscaling and save states. The only thing that may give you trouble with this emulator is getting your games in a playable format, as your ROMs must be in an XISO format. But other than that, this emulator is great and plays all of those exclusive games from the original Xbox just fine. XMU runs on Intel and Apple Silicon Macs. Now I know I said the best six emulators, but I'm gonna have to make it seven because I don't know how I forgot about the Nintendo Switch emulator Ryu Jinx. And yes, Ryu Jinx works on Mac and I haven't had any issues running my games at 1080p. I was actually surprised at how good this emulator ran on my M2. I mean, even games that don't run well on my actual Switch run better with Ryu Jinx. And if you have a Switch Pro controller, you can pair it to your Mac and use it with Ryu Jinx, giving you a great experience. This emulator works on Apple OS 12 and later. So if you prefer Mac over Windows, well, just know that you can get a great emulation experience using all of the emulators shown in this video. Once again, if I have a setup video for those emulators, links will be in the description below. Thank you for watching and keep emulating guys. Peace.